Hello beautiful humans, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tessa Stewart. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back beautiful. So in today's video, I will be doing a product empties haul for you girls. It is massive, it is huge. <laughs> So just get ready. So over the last many, many months, my dear, I have been accumulating quite a few skincare items. If you're unaware, I've been on a skincare journey just trying to rid myself of adult acne that I developed about two years ago. It's pretty much gone. I don't know if you can tell, but your girl's skin is clearing up. I'm just getting rid of the rest of the scars. But these are all the products that I tried on my journey to getting this skin together. So if you'd like to see my thoughts on all of these items, which goodies I have, which items I have already repurchased or the ones that I'm going to repurchase soon, then just keep on watching. But before we move any further, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you are alerted with all of my future uploads. And let's get right into the video. Before we get started, I just wanted to say a huge welcome back and thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Do you have a specific skill or talent that you're trying to learn? Skillshare is the perfect place to start. From photography and illustration to graphic design, freelancing, and more, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. I've been going through a lot lately and I've just been looking for more creative ways to relax and I love painting, but I am a very structured person. Because of that, I overthink a lot and sometimes it can take the relaxing out of painting. I've been taking the class Remarkable Relaxation, Easy Abstract Tropical Painting for an Art Staycation. It's taught by Adam Palmeter. He really knows how to keep you engaged. I've really used this to learn a new technique and take the overthinking out of my painting. If you're like me, your day-to-day -day is filled with tasks and to-do lists, <laughs> you know, just monotonous monotonous things, but I highly encourage you to prioritize your self-care and your wellness by using Skillshare to invest in your own self, learn a new skill, try a new hobby. Even if what you wanted to do was learning how to manage your finances better, they even have classes on budgeting and finances and things of that nature. So if you're interested in becoming a member, the first 1,000 people to click the link below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. I just wanna say another huge shout out and thank you to Skillshare. And without any further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, girl, we have to, <laughs> we're gonna have to jump right in. I have so much stuff in this box, but a lot has been going on in my life. And since the last product empties, I just, I don't know. I've just been accumulating stuff, okay? And I decided to just stop throwing these things away because the girls need to know how they work, all right? So we're gonna jump right in. I am going to start. This is all skincare, okay? All of this is skincare. And when I say skincare, I'm talking about your face. I will be doing body care and things of that nature in another video. But today we are going to start with some complete kits that I chose to try. So the very first one I'm gonna start with is Peach and Lily. This is the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Discovery Kit. Now come on, you know why I bought it. Glass skin girl, okay? <laughs> so in this kit you get the Wild Dew Treatment Essence, the Glass Skin Refining Serum, the Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream, as well as the Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser. The cleanser is decent. It has a very weird consistency, so I feel like I used way too much of it. I would be open to repurchasing it again. It was very gentle. It was hydrating. At the time that I was using it, my skin was severely dry. I was using some extremely strong topicals from the dermatologist, so the gentleness of the cleanser was just what I needed, but there was just something about it. If I feel like it was very difficult to wash it completely off. There was like a residue that it left. There would always be this slipperiness onto my skin that I had a, a hard time getting rid of. Then the Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream. Girl, ooh, this is the worst face cream that I have ever tried. If you like this, more power to you, God bless, okay? <laughs> I can't do it, I cannot do it. It is so thick and it just feels thick, heavy, and greasy. And I did not enjoy using it. I didn't like putting it on my face at all. 
So I tried using it at night because during the day was a no. I still didn't like it. I wound up using this on my hands just so that I wouldn't like <laughs> let it go to waste. Now, the stars, the stars of this box here, the Glass Skin Refining Serum, this stuff is nice. This stuff is the truth. I feel like the very first week I started using this, I didn't use start using them all at the same time. I'm gonna be honest, okay? My skin was very sensitive, so I wanted to like introduce each product one at a time just in case <laughs> I had a reaction, you know what I mean? But once I started using the Glass Skin Refining Serum, girl, oh my goodness, I noticed the difference in my skin, like the texture of my skin. I really like this and I do want to repurchase that. Next in here is gonna be the Wild Dew Treatment Essence. Okay, this essence, I couldn't tell if it was the essence or if it was something else, but every time I reintroduced this into my skin, I got like contact dermatitis, I think that's what you call it. The little tiny bumps all over your face, which was basically indicating that I was having a reaction. I don't know. But one thing I do know is majority of these products contain niacinamide and niacinamide can actually irritate your skin if you use too much of it. So just be mindful of that. If you do have a sensitivity to niacinamide, maybe don't try the whole kit or do like I did and introduce each item one at a time. But if anything you were gonna try out of here, I would say, the Glass Skin Refining Serum, and the Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser. Next kit we're gonna talk about, I purchased this last year during the Sephora sale. I have tried and continued and continued to try to use this every time it's Breakout City, so I have given up. And that is gonna be the Biosance Overachievers Kit. So in this kit, you get the Squalane and Lactic Acid Resurfacing Night Serum, the Squalane and Vitamin C Rose Oil, the Squalane and Marine Algae Eye Cream, the Squalane and Probiotic, gel moisturizer as well as the Squalane Omega Repair Cream. You get a lot. I was very, very eager to try this because I just feel like I was seeing Biosance all, all over the place. I was seeing this name all over the place and the girls were saying that they were getting good results, okay? I tried this. Oh, bro, I had a severe purge. My skin just couldn't. I don't know if it's the rose within the oil or the amount of squalane. Now you can all Google this. Squalane is supposed to be basically mimic the sebum that your skin produces, right? So obviously if you're putting it on your skin, the hopes is that your skin will not produce excess sebum causing more breakouts. But it does oxidize on the skin the same way that your natural oils do. So if you are naturally oily and prone to acne, this can aggravate it. Now some people do well with it. From what I've seen on the reviews, some people do not. I am one of the persons who do not. Squalane, if it's heavy in the squalane, it's not gonna go well for my skin. We will talk about the lactic acid resurfacing night cream. Now this was the main thing that I was able to use the most of, but I did notice some nights when I would use it, it would burn. And I have had lactic acid peels, so I was really excited to use this. I don't know if it's the formula, the mixture, but it did sensitize my skin a little bit more and I couldn't continue. Next, the eye cream was super thick. It just felt heavy under my eye and I just didn't notice a difference. Like, <laughs> And by this time, I think I had tried the Alganist eye cream, so in comparison, this did nothing. I, I just wasn't excited about it. The Squalane Probiotic Gel Moisturizer. I don't know if it's because I used it after the lactic acid, but the moisturizer actually burned my skin. I would put it on, it would feel okay at first, and then like maybe like after a minute or so like of rubbing it in, my skin would just get like a light burning feeling and then the burning would subside but it just it just got to be too much so i stopped and then i tried the repair cream which is like the thicker cream in here i did use that at night i did not get the same reaction to it it felt kind of oily on my skin and i've had other night creams that i like so that was a bust for me and then the squalane vitamin c rose oil okay this rose oil Oh my gosh, I'm still holding on to what's left of the rose oil. <laughs> I tried it so many times at first. I liked it, I liked it a lot. I thought it was like a hit, you know what I'm saying? But then after like the third week, I just started having a reaction and then like every time I would put it on, my skin felt drier. I don't know if it's because of the vitamin C. That's like a gentle exfoliant. So maybe that was irritating my skin, but I think the rose, I really do think it's the rose because a lot of products that have rose eventually irritate my skin. And when I was doing my research, rose is a known 
irritant as an ingredient in products. So I think that might be what it was, but I liked it in the beginning. And every time that I try to reintroduce it into my skincare routine, I just get a breakout like within a few days. So that's a no for me. So nothing from Biosance. <laughs> I just feel like there's better products. The ones that didn't irritate me or bother me just they were just okay, they weren't They weren't great, so I'm over that. Next we are gonna be moving on to, let's start with Dermalogica, okay? Because Dermalogica has actually started sending me product, but before they ever sent me a thing, I was already trying Dermalogica products, come on now. If <laughs> you've been watching YouTube for years, like I have, then you know Jackie Ina swears, I don't know if she still does, okay? But back in the day, Homegirl swore by Dermalogic products. So <laughs> I have been trying to see how they can work for me because I feel like her skin looks good. You know what I'm saying? I keep revisiting the brand like ever so often. And now, like I said, they are starting to send me stuff. But these are items that I purchased with my own money prior to them ever sending me a thing, okay? The first item is gonna be the Daily Glycolic Cleanser. So I got this because everyone and their mother was talking about glycolic acid. <laughs> so I was like, let me jump on the bandwagon. This is supposed to be like a brightening cleanser. It's supposed to like even out the skin tone, which are things that I wanted or needed. It took me months to get through this. So in the beginning, when I first started using it, I could use it every day. But over time, my skin got very sensitive to it. So then I just started to like back down and like, okay, every other day, then it became every few days, then it became like once a week. Because of how infrequently I can tolerate this, I wouldn't purchase it again. But if you don't have sensitive skin, it's a good cleanser. It worked, it did its job, and it doesn't say that it removes makeup. There have definitely been times where I've just gone directly in with this to take off makeup and it got the makeup off. So it was a decent cleanser. It just was too aggressive for my sensitive skin. But if you don't have sensitive skin, I say go for it. The next thing from Dermalogica is going to be the Daily Microfoliant. Now, I know you've heard about this numerous times. I have tried and tried and tried and tried with this so many times. My skin doesn't, my skin doesn't go well with this. It like really irritates my skin. Now, it doesn't cause any breakouts, but it just causes like an uncomfortable feeling that I don't like. This bottle is actually pretty, pretty full. I cannot use this daily, not at all. The very first one I got was the extra strength one and I realized quickly it was too strong. I took it back, I got this one. And then this is too strong for daily usage. I started using this like every few days and then I got it down to like once a week. Now, it did make my skin feel smoother. I will say that, but the reaction that my skin had to it on the surface, it was just very uncomfortable. It was like a slight burning, but it didn't leave my skin looking irritated. So I didn't expect this to have that uncomfortable feeling. So because of the feeling, I just did not like this. But the new one that they came out with, the milk foliant, it's like night and day, but you still get the results on your skin, but it works and you can use it daily, and I really like that. Last thing from Dermalogica is going to be the Circular Hydration Serum. So this is basically hyaluronic acid on steroids. So now I purchased this from Sephora during the Sephora sale, and then come to find out, Dermalogica actually sent me this. But this is the one that I actually purchased. I burned through this quick. This stuff is amazing. Once you use this, if you're used to like hyaluronic acids and you really like them, and then you try this, you're not gonna wanna go back to your regular plain old hyaluronic acid. This just does something for the skin. When you put it on your skin, your skin feels smoother. It really does plump and hydrate the skin. This stuff is beautiful. So I purchased the Genius Liquid Collagen by Algonist. So this bottle actually came in a kit with a couple more like sample sizes or whatnot. I wanted to try this because it's for like boosting your skin's collagen production, helping to plump the skin, fill in the fine lines, wrinkles. Now I don't suffer from fine lines and wrinkles, but I did have acne scarring that I was going through, that I'm still going through from the adult acne. So I was hoping that this would help my skin just like regenerate, you know, and like smooth out the scars a little bit better. I love this stuff. Love Loved, loved this in the beginning. I was using it faithfully. I was seeing a difference in my skin. I had a fresh scar in my forehead and there was like a little hole <laughs> from one of the bumps, okay? 
no joke. And I would just concentrate like rubbing the hole with the collagen. Within a week, that hole had filled itself out. It really worked. I credit it to this because this is what I was using at the time. Only issue is, I think they've changed the bottle, but this packaging is horrible. This tube, you have to press down on it and then it's supposed to like suction up the serum. Only problem is it barely suctions up the serum. So I had to take apart the bottle and for the price of this, I just don't feel like going through that. But it did do a good job. I can't take that away from it. It did work. If I purchased it again, it would definitely be on another Sephora VIB sale. So the next items from Algonist are going to be the Triple Algae Eye Balm. Girl, this stuff is fire, okay? I have dark circles. I have very bad dark circles. Well, in my opinion. And when I started using this after like a couple weeks, I could just see the difference. Like my under eyes looked brighter. I looked more refreshed. I looked more awake. I love this stuff. The only con to this to me is the price. It's expensive. It's definitely expensive, but it's nice and thick. It melts in, it feels good. It hydrates the under eye. You can wear makeup over it. It doesn't move around. I am gonna repurchase this. I ran out of this, haven't repurchased it, and I can tell a difference. So I know that this stuff is working. So this is gonna be repurchased ASAP. Next is the Algonist Genius Ultimate Anti-Aging Cream. So this cream is very thick. It smells like WD-40 to me. I don't <laughs> If you've ever smelled that, you know what I'm talking about. But it smells like WD-40, kinda sorta. So like the smell is a little off-putting to me, but like not at the same time. But it's a thick cream. I did like how it moisturized my face, but when it was hot outside, I just don't feel like it always absorbed enough. If my skin was drier, maybe I'd like it better. And even though right now my skin is dry, my skin isn't naturally dry. My skin is only dry because I'm using stuff from the dermatologist to get rid of acne. Once I stop using that stuff, my skin will be oily again, <laughs> trust me. I think because my skin isn't naturally dry, it's just going through a dry phase, that this is still too much. And I think I still prefer gel moisturizers for the daytime. So I didn't notice any tightening or anything like that. I don't really have many fine lines like that. I can't tell you whether or not it was doing its job when it comes to the anti-aging. I can tell you it's very moisturizing if you are very dry and you are looking for something that will target anti-aging, then you can give it a try. Next is going to be items from Youth to the People. I like Youth to the People as a brand. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser. So I originally got it in a kit, right? Like a Youth to the People sample type of kit. It was so gentle. This is super gentle on your skin. Very, very gentle. Doesn't irritate the skin. It's not necessarily moisturizing, but it's not stripping at all. So if you are going through like anything with your skin, if your skin is super, super, sensitive this is like the cleanser you would use this stuff was very gentle I preferred using this over every other cleanser that I had when I was really 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 sensitive but so when I first started using the medicine from the dermatologist my skin was like super inflamed I had a lot of acne more acne than I've ever had in my life and the only cleanser that I could use was this one this did not irritate my skin. I could use it daily. I could use it multiple times a day. So I really like this and I've purchased it several times and more than likely I will come back to it. Next from Youth to the People is going to be the Superberry Dream Cleansing Balm. This is a makeup remover. This has Maki Prickly Pear Hyaluronic Acid and a flash melting formula. The consistency of this is a little bit different than like the Pharmacy Green Clean or the Belief Cleansing Balm, those type of oily textures. This is solid, but it's kind of gritty at first or whatever, but once you rub it into your hands, it does emulsify a little bit, it gets a little thinner, it melts a little bit. I liked this because it washed off easily. A lot of the cleansing balms, for some reason, they leave like a residue on my skin and I don't like that. And I feel like that residue breaks me out even though I like wash with a soap afterward. This didn't leave that residue at all. So let's say you didn't go in immediately with a foaming cleanser. I feel like your skin would be okay. I really like this. I purchased it twice. I didn't purchase it again because I got a cleanser that also removed makeup and I'm gonna share 
the empty with you coming up next. If you like cleansing balms and you prefer cleansing balms, I would give it a try. Don't expect the texture to be like anything else that you've used, but if you're looking for something that washes away easily, that gets the makeup off and doesn't leave a residue, I do like this. Okay, and then the last thing from you to the people is gonna be the Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. This has kale, spinach, and hyaluronic acid. It's a decent moisturizer. It's kind of reminiscent of the Clinique Moisture Surge, but just a clean version. I got this because it came in a kit. So when I purchased the cleanser, it came with this and it also came with an exfoliant. I just went ahead and got the bundle. Had this not been in the kit, I don't think I would have purchased this separately because I had used it before in the previous <laughs> Youth to the People kit, but it is a decent cleanser. The next brand I'm gonna talk about, I recently tried and now I am on the hunt to try like <laughs> more products from these guys because I've been thoroughly blown away. So that's gonna be the Sawasu Gentle Cleansing Foam. I got the Sawasu Gentle Cleansing Foam as well as the Gentle Cleansing Oil. I bought them at the same time. I couldn't make up my mind between the two. So I figured, okay, I'll try them both and whichever one I like, if I like one, I'll repurchase the large size. Girl, the Gentle Cleansing Foam is a1, okay? <laughs> this stuff is great. It's super gentle. It does not strip your skin, but it does get off the makeup, girl. So you can use this as the very first step to your double cleanse and your skin will not be overly stripped. Even if you don't have makeup on, it's so gentle. You could really use this by itself because it does clean well. It does clean efficiently and it foams up. It lathers up so nicely. Generally, when things are like gentle cleansing, foaming, they'll have a little lather, but they won't have a lot. This, no, this lathers. <laughs> this lathers right up. I love this and I repurchased it because it's amazing. Now, the sister to it, which is like the gentle cleansing oil, this is more of like your traditional makeup removing oil or cleansing oil because you don't have to use this for makeup. This one, I liked it, but I wasn't in love with it. I don't know. I used this way too quick. For some reason, I had to use more pumps of this than I did of the foam. So I ran out of it faster. I ran out of this really quick. I needed to use a lot of this to really get my makeup off. I feel as though I didn't have to use as much of the gentle cleansing foam. So the last cleanser that I'm going to talk about, and I know girl, <laughs> It's been a lot, it's been a lot. That's gonna be the La Roche-Posay Tolerane Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. This cleanser is basically La Roche-Posay's version of the CeraVe or the Cetaphil cream cleanser that doesn't foam up, but it's way better way better. This lasts a long time. I really, really like using this. This is very gentle. If I haven't put on makeup or anything, I'll just use this as my cleanser. Unlike Cetaphil, for some reason, the CeraVe and the Cetaphil irritate my skin, more so the CeraVe. The CeraVe really burns my skin. I don't know what is in that stuff, but my skin does not like it. The Cetaphil one, it tolerates a little bit better. This did not give me any of that. It doesn't burn. I use the whole thing. I repurchased this. I have more in my shower now and my husband can use it. Now this has ceramides, niacinamide. It's soap free, sulfate free and fragrance free. Dermatologist tested and safe for sensitive skin. I can attest to that. It's definitely safe for your skin. This actually does lather just slightly. If you put a little water to it and like rub it in your hands or when you're rubbing it on your face, it lathers a little bit. So. I really like this. I think that this is worth the try. And the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the Vichy Mineral 89. So this is basically a, a skin fortifying daily booster. It's hyaluronic acid. It's only supposed to have like 11 ingredients in it. This is one of the better hyaluronic acids that I've tried from the drugstore. It's definitely very hydrating. It doesn't leave any type of residue on the skin. My skin absorbed it very quickly. I was very in love with this until I bought that derm <laughs> that Dermalogica Circular Hydration. Remember earlier in the video when I said like, if you're used to hyaluronic acid and you try this, you can't go back? Girl. I prefer the Dermalogica Circular Hydration over this, but let's say the Circular Hydration has an ingredient in it that you don't like, or doesn't work for your skin, or if the Dermalogica is just like out of your, you know, out of your price range or out of your budget, like your price point, girl, look into this, okay? And they have this in different sizes. So this is the middle size. I think this is like an ounce. Yeah, this is like an ounce. They have one that's slightly bigger and then they have a little smaller one. It's worth a try. I really like that. Next, we are moving on to Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. 
This is one of the best facial oils ever. I keep coming back to this. I love this stuff. I have been purchasing this for years now. I try other oils, but like they're not like this one. Okay, so this one is for nighttime. You can wear it during the daytime. I would put this on at night after my entire skincare routine over my moisturizer. You can use this alone if you wanted to. I've definitely done that. But even putting this on the moisturizer, when you wake up the next morning, it's like your skin is rejuvenated. I really enjoyed this. Nothing tops this. And I keep rotating out all these face oils, ones for the daytime and all that stuff. But the only one that I have purchased numerous times is gonna be this one. So next we are gonna move on to Essence. And it's gonna be the SK2 Facial Essence. This is supposed to be skin balancing. It's supposed to refine the skin, tighten the pores, brighten the skin, also help your other products penetrate your skin a little bit better. I like this. The thing is, it's very, very, very similar to the Estee Lauder Micro Essence. And I can't tell the difference, but I feel like for the same amount, this one is a little bit more expensive. I'm still on the fence on whether or not I'm gonna buy this again because it really reminds me of the Micro Essence and part of me wants to go back and repurchase the Micro Essence. But there was a period of time, there was a couple of months when my skin just got itself together, right? I was really on top of my skincare. Sometimes I get lazy, I'm not gonna lie. And I won't do all the steps. I'll just wash my face and put the moisturizer on. That's it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause I don't have time to do all of that stuff. But there were a few months where I was like really, really doing each and every step. I was using the essence, I was using the serum. During that time period, I was using this and I feel like this did refine my skin. My products definitely penetrated well. I mean, the amount of scars that I had decreased so quickly during that time frame. And this was definitely one of the products that I was using though. So it is worth a try. If you love, have the micro essence, you already love it and you are thinking about trying this, but you do really love the Micro Essence, girl, stick with the Micro Essence. There's no need of confusing yourself. <laughs> so earlier when I was talking about the Youth to the People moisturizer, I was comparing it to the Clinique Moisture Surge. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge 100 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator. Now, I don't know if who goes 100 hours without like washing their face and all that good stuff, because I definitely don't do that. <laughs> So I can't tell you if it'll hold you for 100 hours, okay? Because if you wash your face, it will definitely be dry if you don't put a moisturizer on it. But this stuff does work. I like this, it's lightweight, it e absorbs easily, your skin is very quenched. You can tell that your skin is moisturized, it looks hydrated, and it looks hydrated from like the inside out. It doesn't look like you just slapped some oil on it or something. It looks like you woke up with nice, hydrated skin. I have been buying this for years. I've been purchasing this at least seven, eight years. This is like the poster child for gel moisturizers. This was the very first gel moisturizer that I ever tried. I fell in love. And generally I compare majority gel moisturizers to it. And I really, really like this. The only way to top it is if to give me more moisture than this one. And it's been very difficult. The next moisturizer that I've gone through is the Belief Aqua Balm Girl. Okay, this stuff is fire. So when I first used it, I didn't like it, all right? My skin was very sensitive. <laughs> I was going through things because I was trying to overcome acne. Like, come on, what's the recurring theme of this whole video? Your girl was going to the dermatologist, I was using topicals. I know you're tired of hearing me say it, okay? <laughs> but I bought this during that time where like my skin was at its worst. So when I first started trying to use it, I didn't like it, but I set it to the side, I didn't return it. Fast forward some months later, my breakouts had calmed down. All I was worried about now was mainly like some residual breakouts and then scarring mainly. I tried this along with the Dermalogica Circular Hydration. This stuff is bomb. I just love the way it makes my skin feel. I think that this with the Circular Hydration together is a winning team, girl. Your makeup goes on super smooth. It looks hydrated. It looks great. I really enjoyed these. So I've already repurchased that because this gives me the Clinique Moisture Surge vibes with like some extra zhuzh. Like <laughs> 
So there was a point in time where I was just questioning everything. I didn't know if my breakouts were being caused by things that I was eating. So I was trying to go completely clean, right? So I tried the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew moisturizer. In the beginning when I first started using it, I liked it, it was cool. I could tell that my skin was doing a little bit of purging or like detoxing from <laughs> the chemicals that I was using. But while I still had this and it was like relatively full, I purchased another moisturizer and just started using that other moisturizer. It wasn't anything spectacular. The only thing I liked about it was the fact that on paper, it was a clean product. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't working wonders for my skin or anything. I did go back to using it when I had ran out of that other product. I did use it up, but I don't think I'll ever purchase this again. So next is gonna be this item from Peter Thomas Roth and that is gonna be the Peter Thomas Roth Max Matte Shine Control Sunscreen in Broad Spectrum SPF 45. When I first purchased this, my skin was still oily. I wasn't using that many topicals from the dermatologist. It was okay, but what I do notice is that like, initially it doesn't leave a white cast, but there's like a residue. So if you put anything on the top of this, it will pill up. So let's say you put this on first and then you wanna put on primer, okay? Cause you're trying to do your makeup. When you put go to put the primer on, this stuff is going to pill up. It's going to just roll off, <laughs> roll off of your face. I don't care how much you use. I tried using it a little bit. I've tried using a lot. Either way, it pills up. I, I couldn't prevent it. But you can still put your makeup on. Your makeup doesn't move around. It does get the job done. You can wear it under makeup. Just, I feel like there are better options out there for darker skin. I didn't even bother to finish it. I moved on to other, <laughs> to other sunblock. For the price of this, the performance is just not fully worth it, in my opinion. I was gonna do setting sprays in this video. <laughs> But I'm looking at like how long I've been recording and like bruh, this video would be never ending. Oh my gosh. So the setting sprays are gonna be in the next video so make sure that you stay tuned. <laughs> I'm gonna do makeup and body care all in a specific video, okay? But the last thing, last but not least, that I used up, I've used so many times and that's gonna be the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is in the flavor vanilla. I usually get vanilla or I'll get berry. I burn through this stuff. I burn through this stuff so quickly. Honestly, I need to stop playing with myself and start buying two of these during the VIB sale <laughs> because I have a tendency to just run through this stuff. I really like this. I've been using this for years now. This as well as the Glowy Lip Balm. They are just staples. I'm glad that the girl at Sephora told me about it. I've tried other lip sleeping masks. This is by far my favorite one and I keep coming back to it. I highly recommend. <laughs> all right, sis, that's all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I know that it was long. <laughs> I know that this is a lot of stuff, but I really couldn't narrow it down. I had no idea which items like you guys really wanted to hear about or not hear about. So I figured I'll just put it all in the video and you could just skip the stuff that you don't like, you know? So if you made it this far, you are a real one and I love you for that. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you are alerted with all of my future uploads. I have some vlogs coming up for you girls as well as the other part of this product empties as well as more chit chat get ready with me's and makeup tutorials so if you're interested in seeing that make sure that your notifications are turned on so that you can be alerted for my video girl all right beautiful i will see you in the next video bye